drive around like I got my head cut off. But I knew I heard a train sitting in the house and off in the distance. The wind is blowing from the south. I knew I heard a train. See if we can get over here and get you guys a different view at a different intersection right near Alter Metal here in East Kingsford, Michigan. This is one of the uh, spurs or one of the places they service. I'm thinking they might be grabbing a couple of cars here, so let's go see. A couple of rail cars sitting there at Alter Metal. I don't know if they're going to grab them or not, but very good vantage point here if they do. Looks like it, huh? I'd love to walk down that trail right there, but uh, totally on a railroad property. You really can't get any access to the river from here because the railroad owns most of the property, at least along the tracks. So get gonna grab the full cars out, pull them out, put them on the train, push the train back probably, put the empties in there for them. That would be my guess. What about yours? Escanaba Lakes Bureau Railroad services a few different spots along this line. As you see by their many loads of trees and lumber that is the majority of what they do or I should say service but they do service alter metal here formerly Schneider metal taking these scraps down to Green Bay to be processed where the price of steel and price of everything else is about three times as much I'm told anyway start moving here shortly big old fuel truck sorry about that off the uh, beaten path of what I was filming. He won't make as far as this crossing.
contact. Where they're at right now, that's that metal yard right there. I know there's kids on the bridge. When the train came across the bridge, he started honking. Normally, means there's somebody back there. Yeah, there's normally cars and there's people back there. There was earlier. Let's just take a look at this There we go. Batteries, batteries, batteries. So I'm trying to give you guys a, a different view. Um, as I was talking to those teenagers because they were heading to the trestle to jump off into the river on a beautiful summer day, I told them to give the train about five minutes to pass by and then go on their journey so they didn't have to worry about trespassing or any of that fun stuff. But uh, I wanted to give you guys a little different view of a place where the train passes by. So I think we'll do it here, right along Brighting Avenue um, at a marked crossing, no gates, but uh, you know, a little different area than I've been filming at recently. So anyway, we go find a parking spot a little closer and then uh, we'll get out and film. Right through. Right through. Right through. Ah, I almost dropped the camera. There's that wave everybody's been asking about. Yes, they still wave. These are the cars they just grabbed that I showed you, full of scrap metal and lots of wood. Not a very long train, but enough to show you switching a couple of cars there at Alter Metal and a couple of idiots that uh, don't know how to stop when they see flashing lights. Oh man, 
they lost the spread again. Crazy hair and all. Thanks guys for watching that short video uh, here on a Monday afternoon. Missed a few trains this weekend. They came a little bit early in the morning and I was not rolling out of bed to catch them, but I was glad to catch this one for you guys. Make sure you slam that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, hit that share button, make a comment below. Man, do people really have a suicide wish or a death wish wanting to beat the train? You've got to at least make a complete stop. You can't just blow through the crossing. You've got to stop. One of these days, people, one of these days.